Day 33. Let's see what this culvert do. Press lightning form like three times to get it to proc. Okay, so it got better. Um, Sixteen eighty-five. That's like a three. I can't remember the increase. Somewhere between three and five hundred. Not bad. That was difficult. Two MVPs. Try this again. Let's see. We're going all out this time. Wish me luck when I need it. Almost scuffed it, but I think I think it's okay.
want that. See, it's so delayed, man.
our time is looking a lot better as long as we don't screw up phase two the uh, the balls that decrease your final damage in phase two of Damien are they're tough for me especially because you have to be on the boss for or with Buccaneer so it's I don't know but if you're just like tactful and smart it's possible but this is looking a lot better it doesn't mean we're gonna do it it just we weren't even close to this much percent through in the last run this is like significantly better That was about as risky as it gets.
31.5, come on. This is, yeah, Damien. wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that was simply not smart.
it's all about actually getting burst off because this is that has not been going well See, Burst just isn't doing it, man. I feel like he was just doing that. Maybe not. He keeps teleporting just like away from wherever I'm looking. Just 
just actually kill me, please. Kill me, kill me. Okay. This was done. Bro, <laughs> I thought we were gonna throw. I thought we were gonna throw. Okay. I say week to week, I don't know. I don't know if we can keep on doing that, man. Yeah, I'm stressed out. <laughs> I thought we were gonna fail again. Okay, well, we didn't though. So, and we didn't forget a Legion drop either. Holy symbol is maxed out now, so our drop rate looks a little different. fun my gosh hard Damien down oh. maybe today nope maybe today's the day nope maybe 99.6, okay. I didn't think I was gonna level, but nice. About to hit Arcus. Yes! We got something. Let's go. That took forever. Bro, I'm so happy right now. Superior Galax Belt. Let's go. Now I gotta get the pink bean belt to at least 21. Do I go for 22 to just have a 21 superior belt right out the gate? I don't know. We'll see how I feel. Hotel Arcus. I'm down. I see how it is. I get one superior Galax belt, so now I get two. I'd like if those were earrings, but hey, at least we know if one booms, like we're still in okay shape. So that's pretty cool. So while this might not be the play, I'm gonna do it anyway, because I still don't like my WSE at all. So this, this, this isn't the play. Like, don't do this. But I just did. And uh, I don't like the 10 crit rate. So I could make absolutely zero gains and have wasted uh, 1.1 bill, whatever that was. However, 
Um, the reason I don't want that 10 crit rate anymore is because we got five from finishing the Phantom Link and then one from like a familiar slot badge. So I can rearrange these hyperstats pretty freely to make up the four that we're gonna need back. I know it says 96, but decent sharp eyes, y'all. Come on, pay attention. So here's the thing too, is I don't know, do I do this or this first? Probably this, because this only has two useful lines. This at least is three useful lines. Um, the useless line being crit rate on here. So yeah, I'll probably just do the weapon. This really, again, was not the play, but I really want to do it. So hopefully we can get two lines of attack and one line boss or something better than 10% crit rate. Just hoping. I know how unlikely it is, but. You never know at the same time. I don't like that they added flat attack as a line to weapons and probably secondary as well. I don't, I don't know, probably all three maybe. I don't know what all they added it to, but they definitely added it to weapon and I don't like that. Like who is just happy with a flat line of attack? I mean, I guess there are some circumstances to where it could be like, okay. No, I take the 10% boss over that. We're still far enough away from like an arcane weapon because now that we've soloed H. Lomian, H. Lucid is pretty far away still. Like the jump between Hard Damien and Hard Lucid is, is a pretty big jump. I don't know what's actually earlier, Normal Vihela or Hard Lucid? 10% boss or 13% strength? Hmm. Probably the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out like really quick if that's actually better. Well, I do think it's slightly better, but I need two lines of attack, you guys. It's like, why does my WSE keep making this so hard? It's just two lines of attack. Like, I feel like that's not crazy to ask for. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go crazy with it and very likely get something worse, but we're here and uh, I'm not settling. There's no Star Force event at reset. Today's Saturday, by the way, day 39, December 23rd, 2023. Um, there's no Star Force event. Like I needed to probably save all that money, but I do know that I'm not gonna do a lot for the 30%, which is not this reset, but the sunny Sunday after is a 30% off Star Force. I'm really only going to get like some stuff to 15. Well, that's not true because we already have the golden clover belt to transfer. I say that's not true as in I immediately went to these superior belts. 
But um, yeah, this I'm gonna get to 15. And that honestly might be it because there's a 5, 10, 15, not the sunny Sunday after that, but one more. Or is it two more? I think I messed up when I explained all the sunny Sundays before. Um, either way, the 5, 10, 15, I think it's like the second weekend of January or something. That to me is way more important. So once we kind of get our WSE a little bit better, I am going to 100% just save for the 5, 10, 15 because we still have a lot of items we need to work. Um, I say 100% save for that, but I mean, other than maybe getting some superior Gallics to 17 stars, which I don't even know if it's necessary because that's not going to push us to H, to H Lucid, like, um, and we're already clearing H Lomian, so, either way, let's get the cubing going. I need better WSC, and I mean it, like... <laughs> So tired of looking at trash. Should have just bought the glowing cubes from the start, but you guys know me. I don't make smart decisions when it comes to how I'm going to spend my money on this server. And Kronos, I was fine because I had a ton of boss meals, but. I don't know. I forgot what it was like to be at this stage of the game, this early game status. Very early game in my opinion. H low means nothing anymore. We have six job now. Like, we're not we're not even mid game. I think this is just my opinion, right? And there's no real way to define this. Who cares? But like, the way I see it now is that when you're soloing C Tenny you are now like in the mid game, in my opinion. Some people might, you know, feel differently, but there's still a lot of content that for a solo progression player, like after soloing C10, like, okay, what about Black Mage? What about Saren, both difficulties? What about, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Um, I don't know, like, there's still a lot, or a long way to go, even after you're soloing C10, so, yeah, easy Kalos and stuff like that, like, I don't know, we're still early game, that's for sure. Dang it. <laughs> I feel like there's no way we end up with something worse. That's just me. Like at least the number of different lines that your weapon can roll isn't, isn't anything too crazy. just want attack. I don't feel like that's that much to ask for. We've also worked on some Legion. I'll pull that up here in a minute so I can just talk about it. Um, like I said, we got the Phantom to 210. Um, the Ark is like one food storage away from 200. The Demon Avenger is 200. My plan for the 200s now, because I've pretty much used um, all the growth potion selector, like the ones that you get four of to go from, no, you get eight to go from like 206 to 210 on two different characters, or if you just want to do two. 202 to 210 on one character. Yep, 
Yeah, 202 to 210 on one character. Like, I used all those growth potion selector pots, whatever. Um, we are going to get some free ones from the Abyssal Expedition stuff once we hit certain achievements. Um, that's going pretty well, I would say. It's not going, like, amazing, but it's, it's definitely fine. Um... But yeah, for like the Demon Avenger, that's 200, and then the Ark will be 200 next. I'm just going to do like Vanishing Journey dailies on those until they're at least 202, maybe even all the way up to 206, because you get a ton of EXP just from just from dailies in the beginning, Arcane River areas, and then once they or either 202 or 206, I'll park them, or uh, use the EXP tickets from New Age that we're just getting so many of three times a week, a thousand three times a week. So that's my plan. That's just the easy way for me to not have to endure more pain of training those from 200 to 210, which I haven't done for a single one, I don't think. So. It's a pretty free way. This event is making it very easy to get those level three link skills. And we're honestly further along with them than I thought we would be at this stage. Like I, I didn't know what to expect, but I definitely didn't expect to be this easy. So that's pretty nice. Um, New Age has been very free in terms of those account type gains, or at least in this server, that, you know, can kind of be a, a drag, depending on who you are. Like, I don't love playing characters that I, that aren't this, like, unless it's a boss meal and I enjoy that class, like Hero or Dawn Warrior or whatever. But um, this event is making it much better than expected. So I went ahead and bought another 100 so this is not going well, um, down to 800 mil. But like I said, the 510.15 is the big, the big ticket item. So we have a couple weeks to save and I still have weekly bosses to do this week anyway. Like I said, I tend to spread them out because of capping on guild points, so. I can't believe like it's this hard to roll two line attack, bro. Like, or honestly, even just anything better than what we've rolled before now, and then including now, ten, just about ten cubes in, ten because of the <clears throat> solid cube. So, yeah, I don't. Maybe I just had good luck in the past or something, but yeah, <laughs> was not expecting. I thought for sure we'd be done with like two bill left. But that's how it goes and you know it was probably a bad call to even do this from the beginning, so here we are. I think we were probably fine and then the gain might be so minuscule that like this really wasn't worth it, but who knows, we might hit, might get lucky. I am gonna have to buy bright cubes after this if, if this doesn't go our way. See, Oh my gosh. No. <sighs> Why does this game do this? This game like really likes to... So let's go back to the beginning. We had 40% boss, 13 attack, and 10 crit rate. And then after that we rolled 30% boss, 10 attack, either 10 or 13% attack, and 
13% strength. Is 7% attack really like that big of a... Nope. Not in my opinion anyway. I at least need 23. Or just some other roll that just happens to blow all of those other rolls out of the water. So, greeting once again, not smart. But that dex line, that dexterity line was staring me in the face. catastrophic might have to delete the account and start over at this point <laughs> thanks I don't know 35 that's not that many and it's just an abso weapon like we're not that far from arcane weapon now that I think about it because of droplets but i've bought out all the droplets in the event shop and we're still something like 50 away i i can't remember you need 216 for the arcane weapon and you should buy it in the will shop not the lucid shop because the lucid shop has this is basically the same concept as lotus and damien the Lucid Shop has three armors that you need and will end up needing spares of, whereas the Will Shop is just weapon and shoulder, just like Damien. So that's the reason for that. Um, wouldn't necessarily make that big of a difference for us in this stage of the game, but like way later down the road when we inevitably end up needing arcane spares, it would matter then. So it's just a, a better way to do it. That's a net 3% attack loss. I can't, I can't. That's almost the same thing as what we started with. Wow, wasn't expecting to see that. Okay, let's just, um, let's hope here and then I have some bosses I can do. Well, I could do the bosses first. No, no, not with this weapon. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. So let's, at this point, we're really just hoping 20 cubes, bro? That's it? Like, that's it, really? So this was a this was a horrible call, you know what I mean? Pretty much zeroed out. And uh It's looking very dire. Like what did I just do to my character? If I was if I was this buccaneer, I'd be so mad at me right now, bro. Like what 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 were you thinking? Genuinely. Like asking. Okay, I'm gonna go make some money. Okay, we are going to completely rely on luck. Uh, let me first claim these while I'm thinking about it.
Yeah, we're gonna completely rely on luck here. So we'll just throw these two at it first. We gotta be able to at least get like some attack, right? Like goodness sakes, man. I didn't expect this to go this way. I should have. But didn't. Sweet. <laughs> three line strength, real three line, too. Plenty of magic attack to go around, you know? Plenty! Bruh. <sighs> I should've... Come on, dude. I should have maybe settled with that one line attack, one line boss, at least for the, and then a line of strength for the time being until we at least clear H. Lomian this week. But sunk cost fallacy is really, really kicking in right now. And all for an Abso weapon, like super not worth it. Maybe I should have just done bright cubes from the start, man. Okay, I kind of have to, like, super bare minimum settle. No, I don't. It's weird that that happens sometimes. Okay, so we... Lose 5% boss and 3% strength. No, sorry. 5% boss and 3% attack for 10% strength. Not even close to worth it, but four cubes left and I'm probably not gonna get anything better. I at least have to like get through <laughs> like what I have to do for this week and then we're gonna come right back at this. Hold on, real quick. Twenty-four, because of the four I have left. Uh, I hate it so bad. I still hate all three of these, to be honest with you. the difficulty I'm just talking about clearing so normal boom is easy normal will normal lucid are all gonna be pretty easy hard low mean is still pretty difficult but it should be doable with like the other minor gains like in six job skills and stuff oh and 5% crit damage, because I'm going to do Hayato for the free Terra Burning that we get from the Sunny Sunday. So it should still be doable. I need to, I need to settle with this, this potential for right this second. It's the wisest... Oh my gosh, it makes my farming worse. But does it though, because 3% attack for 10% strength, I mean, yes, attack's probably better, but by how much, right? Uh, 
I'm not a smart human being. Just not. Just not one. And that's okay. Sorta. Okay, at that point, that's only a 10% boss loss from when we very, very first started. And one cube's not gonna be better than this. Bro, if only that second line, I would be done. The second line was just regular physical attack instead of magic. I would be done. All right, well, we're about as down bad as you can be. Horrible decisions made. Um, could have made gains in other areas, like, for free, completely, with, like, almost surety, like, our other items we have to cube that are just, like, kind of chilling at Unique that we know are going to be close to permanent, like the CRA, for example. So, yeah, down pretty bad, um, 26 mil. I can make a good chunk of that back, like, basically right away. with um, normal lucid, normal will, normal gloom. Those are like so easy in my opinion. It's these two, Hard Lotus and Damien, that are actually somewhat difficult. I mean, not even somewhat, like they're pretty difficult. Um, so that's about 700 mil, just under. But I could have been at 5.5 or 5.1 bill after doing those three if I just didn't spend money from the start. Actually, more because of what we made from those other bosses I just did really quick. So, yeah, really, really bad decisions. Why do I do this? Why? Why? <laughs> and we ended up with a worse than what we started with. Like, I would have been, I could have just off of vented, like, I could have done so many things. But sitting here and dwelling on it isn't going to do anything. So it's time to move on mentally. That sucks. But, um, oh well. Like, can't fix it now, you know? Can't do anything about it. So we're just gonna have to get ourselves to a better place. Probably gonna have to do some farming. We have the 200 Hayato that I'm probably gonna try to do in a day. Well, maybe two or three days, actually, to be honest. But 5% crit damage on the Legion board, just right out the gate. Should be able to level up our Legion, yeah, by a lot. Um, in terms of the next rank, whatever it's called, Okay, Nameless 5. I wasn't sure if it moved on to like the new, instead of Nameless being called something else. But yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think. I could get an Angelic Buster to 120. 
that helps with burst a fair amount. And then that would get it closer to being prepped for 141, because we still have these 10 coming in. Not super soon, but not very far away either. So, and then I, I could like just start farming. I, I'd probably need to. We have gains we can make on our hexamatrix. We still get about 10% a day from dailies, so that's pretty nice. I wasn't sure what it was gonna be like at 265, but they nerfed, not nerfed, they made it easier to get to 270 by a lot. And then after 270, I think you start to notice the reboot EXP nerf. I, I think, because they didn't decrease the uh, percentage to level up from 270 and beyond as much as 260 to 270. So they they really want to like get people to 270 relatively for free. So Odium isn't as far away as it may look, um, which I like Odium. Odium's a pretty area. Arcus is like, it's fine. Cernium to me is fine. A lot of people love Cernium. I don't hate it, like it's, it's fine, but. Um, Shangri-La looks pretty good. I like the outside of the ship in Arteria a lot, like the outside area, but then the inside is like kind of mid. But to me, Carcion is just gorgeous. Absolutely downright gorgeous, but that's over a year away probably, or at least about a year away, at least. Um, yeah, yeah, at least. That's me being generous to myself, if anything. <laughs> so, but Odium's not that far. That's like maybe three weeks away. And that's me going slow. If anything, it shouldn't even be that far, to be honest. Especially with... Yeah, both of these, I mean... No, it's not a whole level, but it's a good chunk-ish. Eh, they're not that much. Because it's what, like 263 bill now? Because 259 to 260 takes so much less, so then they adjusted these, of course, which... Or no, 249 to 250, not... Yeah, these aren't 260 potions. Um, which I think, I think it's like 240 bill EXP that you get from these. So... Trying to like hurry up and do some quick math in my head. So if it was 210, then that would be about 8%, but it's 240. So yeah, somewhere between 8 to 9%, maybe 10, but probably not. Um, which is pretty a pretty big chunk for literally just double clicking a potion. I have no other characters I want to use this on whatsoever. Um, and probably won't until the next hyper burning. Actually, even then I might still be using them on the main because daily is in seven monster parks and whatever event comes with the uh, lucid, I forget what the event is called in KMS right now, but that lucid event looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably not going to buy the fairy heart because of that. Now, if they bring, or when they bring that event to GMS, if we don't get the free fairy heart, I'm gonna be, I don't know if livid is the word, but that'd be, that's gonna be super messed up if they don't give us the free fairy heart. I'm not spending four bill, even though we have just under a month and a half to, to buy it out of the new age shop. If they're gonna give it to me for free, and like, I don't care about my mules having a heart. Um, if they're gonna give it to me for free, then I'm gonna find some other way to do the f to spend four bill. You know what I mean? Um, like wasting a ton of cubes on my absolute weapon, for example. So, yeah, I got some stuff I gotta figure out. Like, 
We just wasted all our money and made a loss. So I need to I need to get us back up. We're down right now. I need to get back up, and I can do it. Okay, we're in a pretty bad place right now. Just did 30 minutes. I'll probably do this pretty frequently. Oh no. Five mil. <laughs> Gotta sell spell traces. To probably sell these Omni Clean, <clears throat> etc. items. Okay. We at least have enough to use the. We're in a bad place, y'all. I mean it. Okay, if this is just gonna how if this is just how this is gonna go over and over, I don't know when I'm gonna stop. So this sunny Sunday is 50% extra Monster Park clear, so we got like 6% just from Monster Park, which is amazing. Or sorry, Monster Park Extreme. And I haven't even done the seven regular runs. Uh, free Terra Burninator. So we started the Hayato, but I didn't want to switch Link skills because I knew I needed to come back to my main to get everything done on the main today. So... Um, oh, and 50% off Honor. So, yes, I'm going to need to make up 9 crit rate, but, I mean... We can do this if we want to. You know? Um... And I'll figure out the other 4%, whatever the case. But I really want Unique Meso. I need it now. Needed it for a while. So... Just hoping to get Unique Meso. I don't think that's that much to ask. But it could be. 10% Epic Meso is like... Like, what is really 5% Meso? But... Much more strongly hoping for... Unique. Daddy needs a new Rolex. And of course it happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to use the black circulators in the event shop. Of course it happens. Uh, that's still like a positive. And that's the best Epic can be. Bruh. We have less than a hundred rolls left. No. I mean, to be honest, we might even be able to land on Epic Meso again anyway.
landed on Epic Mesa a bunch of times. Okay, this is like the last stretch here. I mean, sort of, right? Like, I can go to the... I can go to the event shop. Okay. They're more expensive than I thought, but... Should be able to at least get something better, I think, than what we ended up landing on. Okay, we stop because, because there's more 50% off honor, like at least once or two more times. So this is fine. I really want to, hmm, no, never mind. Well, at least it's 350 mil. All right, we are back to make more bad decisions. So... I hope that uh, I can forgive myself by the end of this. However... Maybe not. But... I feel as if... There is absolutely no way we don't end up with something better. And I just surprised that it, this even took this, this even took as much money as it did and we're at this. So let's go ahead and make something happen here. I believe, I believe. I feel like Weapon has so few lines and it's possible lines that it can land on, but this should be very doable. Prime boss line there. This is technically 10% boss better <laughs> than what we had. Uh, why is this so hard? This item has been a money sink and it hasn't been the wisest that I've chosen to do it this way, but since we are soloing everything, you know, Normal Vihila and Hard Lucid, and it's still pretty far away. The six job gains will make a pretty big difference, but arcane weapon and other arcane drops are far enough away to where I feel like I just want this damage. Hard Lotus is still pretty hard, like every week. And while we're clearing, as well as Hard Damien, I'd like it to be a little easier. Some of the other bosses like Normal Tenebris and Normal 
uh, Lou Will are a lot faster now. They're down to, okay. <sighs> oh my gosh. See, I can't roll off of that. I can't justifiably to myself roll off of that. So while we lost 3% attack, we gained 40 boss damage. And it just kind of sucks because I just want attack. And it's clearly hard for this game to understand that. But we will have the opportunity to star force items as we go along. Um, 27 cubes, but they last until March. So let's just hang on to them. Um, I did tear that up with just boss drop cubes and got it to 17, so that was really nice. Basically for free. Um, same with this, but we only gained 6% stat on this. And then this just already has nine, so it's kind of bottom priority as far as getting to unique. Got another 4% stat on that. I think it was just 10. So this is probably our permanent Abso weapon. Probably never gonna do anything else to this other than maybe get it to like 18 stars or something, which I know is silly, but I don't really care. Um, if I had went bright cubes instead of glowing, I'd probably use the remainder of them on this, but not with glowings. I'm not gonna reroll this. Cause there's a pretty strong chance we end up with something worse. So we'll just have to look forward to Star Force and our three set superior Galax. Hopefully we can get earrings to drop. I've gotten three belts now. So that's pretty nice. Um, a random boss flame landed on 32 and three for this. So I am not complaining. I'll probably use, well, it depends, right? But I'm thinking that I'll probably use this 17 star scroll. So another week and a day, because right at reset, these three are gonna open up. But yeah, another week and a day, and I'll probably just use that on the pendant because we're not transferring anything into the pendant. Um, yeah, hoping to get a 20 star belt on the 5, 10, 15. And then this is already at least ready to have 17 star earrings. Now, if we get lucky, on our star forcing session, star forcing session, can't talk, star forcing session. Um, maybe we can get a set of these to 21. So, but yeah, we'll get 35 attack just from the three set effect. This already gives a ton of attack. The superior Galax belt, it's actually crazy how much attack it gives. These earrings give quite a bit for earrings and same with the pendant. Um, so we'll make some attack back eventually. That kind of sucks, but it wasn't two line attack and one line boss or some, something like that, but I cannot justify rolling off of that to myself. And that's still good. It's gonna help us with our weeklies, like H. Lomian in particular. Um, 27 cubes. I'm not like eager to use them. If anything, it would be on like a drop, not the meso, because I don't want to lose the meso. However, I mean, the odds of getting something better than that are pretty high in my opinion. Not with 27, but I would have to buy more. I don't know. It's not worth it. They last until March. We can make decisions later. But for now, trading 3% attack for 40% boss. Yeah, that's it's better. So. 
just unfortunate this game is trying to make it hard on me, but that's okay. About to hit 266. Yes, I am still farming in Cernium. Um, it's not that I don't do enough damage in Arcus. I actually kill faster than I expected to, but it is, I don't like the loot rotation and in, in the map that I want to farm in and it's probably the best loot rotation for me. Um, at least based on what we expect, about three weeks away from back pets. So that'll be nice. Then I can just farm in whatever map I I like the best for a rotation. And the EXP here still isn't really that bad. And I just kill fast enough to where Um, to me, it's more comfortable in this map than the Arcus map I would prefer. It's really that first one. It's the Infested Wastelands 1 or something like that. Outlaw Infested Wastelands, something like that. It's just that very first map in Arcus. It's really good for Buccaneer and how we have to mob. Um, if Grandis mobs didn't have so much HP and our Lord of the Deep one-shot, that would dramatically increase the amount of maps we could farm in for Buccaneers, but gotta use Hook Bomber still, and honestly for a very long time. So... Um, yeah, it really limits the amount of maps I can train in. But Leveling up is leveling up. That always feels good. It's like a little dopamine hit. <laughs> But yeah, four more till our next area. Okay. Today is 30% off. And what I want to do... Honestly, I don't need to worry about getting this to 17 or 15. Because... We have this on Tuesday. So I don't need to worry about that. That would have been the main thing. But what I care about right now, let me think about this for a second. I think I, no. Honestly, because we don't have to safeguard, all I care about is this. We'll see how it goes and then CRA. Ah, uh, the black bean mark. But do I need to safeguard those? Kinda. I should just worry about the belt. Six bill is not that much money. Let's just jump right in and hope for the best. Nice, bro. Please don't boom. Please. Please, please, please. Tanky. Kind of tanky. Okay. Bro, this always makes me so nervous. We don't have a good flame on, like, any of these. This is the best one, so... This always makes me so nervous, bro. Like, star forcing is genuinely nerve wracking. Just need one. I'm not gonna try for 22 right now. Even if it means a completed item. Please don't boom. Please don't boom. Please don't boom. I badly need you to not boom. Okay. Okay. That was massive. <laughs> um, yeah. 
What do I do these? Yeah, I think... Because the CRAs are kind of like... Whatever. I don't need to safeguard the reinforced earrings. What is happening? <laughs> of course, dude, it was going so well. There's no way like it was gonna just be that easy for me. Yeah, get what you deserve sometimes. Do I really wanna start catch? When does the six minutes until it Already speeding up. I got to 20 stars so easily, bro. This is a struggle on this server. Was like, it's just like no money, dude. Like six bill is what we started with. Okay, cool. Like, what's that? Yikes. Earrings have always, like, even on Kronos, earrings just struggle for me, dude. Ooh, Miss Tech. Starting to wonder if we just accept that our fate is 17 star earrings for now and push the CRA right now. Since we don't need to safeguard them and that's like the big benefit of 30% off is if like you're star forcing things that don't need to be safeguarded. Oh boy. Three minutes. It's just starting to speed up is all. Yeah, that got to 19 way too easily. Ah, and right back down. It'd be nice if some superior earrings could drop one day. Three belts, but I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, 
Okay, let's just get these to 16 and then um, well, I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's just keep doing this for now. I was gonna say let's at least try to get the CRA to 19 stars, but that feels like a hardcore settle. Like we haven't even spent half our money. Two bill now, but besides the belt going really well, we haven't done anything. Um. Hmm. Yeah, the Star Force speed slows down in less than sixty seconds. Black Bean Mark or CRA or Dominator or Connor Ring. I definitely think the CRA is the way to go. I'd like to at least just get everything to 19 and maybe something will just go right away, you know? I have no idea. I love you too, Josh. Okay, the Star Force speed has slowed down. Probably not by much. Bro, how did that miss? Okay. That was really lucky. Yeah, in a minute, buddy. Maybe, buddy. Ho hold on, please. Hey, Josh. Please, dude. How about what I said, okay? Okay, I've decided the CRA is the way, at least I hope. I hope this is a win and not a loss. Okay. Oh, don't miss, dude. Yikes on the hat. Maybe. Sometimes I wonder. My gosh. Wow. 
Come on. There goes all the money. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I uh, just need the hat. Thirty-two and five. At this point, <clears throat> getting back to nineteen is good enough. If we're lucky enough to do that. Yikes, bro. There's so much money just like disappearing. I should have just stayed. I thought about stopping with the 3.5 bill I had left and being like, ah, 5, 10, and 5, 10, 15 is right around the corner. Star catching apparently makes a big difference. Let's go make some more money. Maybe. Nope, not quite.
gonna give this another try. Not a lot of money, but I just feel like we can at least get 18 stars. So. Okay, I'm gonna go for 19. Shouldn't have. Oof. When you click off of that Star Force, that is something special, man. Okay. Sick. Yeah, I deserve that. Wow. Okay, the hat is going to be the difficult one. I see. Sick, bro. All right, we gotta come back after a load of farming just to try to get 17 back. <laughs> okay, hold on, I just sold 637 Philosopher Stones because we still get these like crazy and that still leaves us with 300. So let's put these away. Because I would prefer to at least farm with, I don't know, 16 on this. Hopefully not 12. Okay, at least we can farm with that. So, cool. So I thought about it. And really the only thing that matters, at least for now, and it doesn't even really matter, is trying to get this to 17. Because for one, we don't have that much money. And two, 5, 10, 15 is right around the corner, and I need to start saving every penny. Like, every penny. 
that's going to be in my best interest by a long shot. And like, if I get it to 18 or I get it to 19, what is that really changing? Like, we're not capable of soloing H Lucid, so, or normal V Hilla. So, of course, I like just having attack for mobbing because um, it's just smoother. Like, we don't miss kills as often, but. Okay. See, I'm still tempted. No, just save for 5, 10, 15. Yeah. Cool, back to 17. So, it is December 31st. This is going to be the last episode of 2023. Um, we've made some pretty solid gains for about a month and a half worth of progress. So let's go ahead and like look at everything really quick. I'm in my mobbing build. I'm not going to spend two, two, uh, two mil to switch hyper stats and switch everything. But I can tell you we're about 28k stat when... We have like our whole bossing build going. Cause I, I usually use these cause I'm trying to save a bunch of these. Um, so yeah, just about 28K stat and Maple Warrior is not on. So yeah, almost 28K even without those things. Um, combat orders would put this over the edge. So anyway. Our gear is slowly progressing, but it is looking pretty good. Uh, these will all level up tomorrow, or after reset, because the weekly, 45. So we have a drop ring with one line, meso ring with one line, and this is what I boss with, by the way. So we're still very early game. Um, 17 star Connor ring, two spares in the inventory. Yeah, and then two spare dominators, two spare black bean marks. Uh, two line with one line meso, one line, one line meso. Uh, this flame isn't that good, but it's just the pink holy cup, y'all. Like, it's, it's not that serious, and, you know, I just never got anything better anyway. Um, Dominator Pendant is two line drop, one line all stat with a flame that I'm never going to flame over, never going to cube over. So really that's just, once it's 22 stars, like that thing's done. I don't care if I'm bossing and two lines of drop. Obviously that's not the permanent goal, but at least this will get replaced soon by the Superior Golix Pendant on Tuesday after reset because we'll get our free 17 star scroll. So instead of spending money, I just decided to use that on the Golix Pendant. Um, never going to touch this weapon again. It's fine. We'll get an arcane weapon before too long. So this weapon's going to do for now, for until then. 21 star Golix belt. Seventeen star hat, decent flame. Not like permanently done with the flame on that, but it's it's pretty good. Two lines of strength and unique. One line meso, two lines strength, seventeen star twilight mark. Flame's pretty good. Uh, meso black bean mark, seventeen stars. Sort of a settle flame. Uh, only one line of strength on this. 19 star CRA top. Pretty okay flame. 19 star pants. 12% strength on the potential. And settle settleable flame. Um, the 6 attack really helps. Otherwise I probably would have gunned to flame over that. Uh, fourteen percent strength on the unique potential. Never need to reflame that. 
I'm not gonna Star Force any Absos anymore. At least I don't think so. Maybe something like 18 if I'm if I just need a little bit of a push for H Lucid or normal V Hilla, but probably never gonna go past 17 on any Absos. Pretty good drop earrings, 17 star, horn tail earrings, flames okay, it's fine. Got lucky with just solid cubes getting the, the potential on this, um, teared up and hit that. Wasn't like trying to get legendary or three line. Probably never gonna do anything to these gloves. The flame is fine, 17 stars. That potential works. I mean, it does what we need. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll go for three line attack eventually, but that's really far away. As far as cubing, if I ever sit down and like just buy a bunch of cubes and I'm actually trying to like make gains via my potentials, it's probably gonna be this is the first. Cause I don't like looking at it. It's the worst possible it can be for having the three lines that it has. Lowest boss damage on the top line, not double prime in any way, and then I mean but it, it it's good for us, it's just it could be so much better. Um I would hope for something like twenty one percent attack in a line of boss. But Secondaries have so many just trash lines in their pool of legendary potential lines that it takes a lot of money to roll something good. Um, this cape is pretty much done forever. Couldn't see the potential all the way. Or the flame, rather. Yeah, probably never going to touch this, this cape again. Um, it's pretty good for now. Or it's pretty good, in general. Um, honestly, probably never going to touch this heart. I know you guys really care about this. But in um, just under six months, when the Dreamer patch comes out for us, the one that KMS has right now, we should be getting a free fairy heart. Hopefully they don't nerf that for GMS. That would suck really bad. That would be really stupid. So, these are all about to hit level 16, so we're still pretty far away from uh, maxed out arcane symbols, but I mean, not that far realistically, probably a couple months. I, I haven't like sat down and calculated it or anything. Um, already level 6 on the Cernium symbol, level 4 on the Arcus symbol, so... Those are going pretty well. I would say a couple more weeks and we'll be 270. Especially because I want to farm a lot in preparation for 5, 10, 15 in two weeks. Definitely want to do that. Um, our inner ability, I think it's next weekend we have another 50% off honor. And while I like having this 10% boss, I'm considering only locking the top line a drop. Because I really just want Unique Meso. Re ideally, because we're coming out with, or not we, the game is coming out with inner ability presets in about the same time the Dreamer patch comes out, so just under six months. Um, ideally, we would have Legendary Drop unique meso unique attack because this boss damage won't help us for our mobbing preset and then on the bossing preset we would have like 20 percent boss eight percent to abnormal abnormal status afflicted mob or monsters and then probably 21 attack on the bossing preset or whatever the highest unique can be i think it's 21 so um, that would be the goal. However, honor can be, honor can be pretty difficult because it takes a while to accumulate a, lo a lot to actually get what you want. 
what else? So, still not maxed out on everything here. Um, this has been pretty low priority. It's just Serpent Vortex. It's really just for mobility. But our main skills are all maxed. Holy Symbol's maxed. Our boost nodes are all maxed. Overdrive and Goddess Blessing are level 20. And then Pirate Flag is 18. Blink is only 10. We're not soloing Hard Will yet. And I remember there being a time, or maybe it's still the case, where the advice people would give was to dump all your experience nodes into, the, into this. And I don't know if I fully agree with or understand that. Like, this skill is okay, but it's nothing special. I'm probably just going to let this level up once we're soloing hard will and it's going to take forever to get to 25 but that does not bother me one bit <laughs> um yeah that's enough of the v matrix so the hexa matrix been working on this pretty hard and we're about to level it up again like we're already really close 51 fragments i just need like what 50 energy because 3 and 49 so that's pretty nice. And then from not from level 9 to 10, it goes from 19 to 25% final damage. So that's that's pretty huge. Once I get that, I'll probably chill on Lord of the Deep for a little bit and start working on all three of these to level 9. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Maybe not the Origin, because Origin's pretty expensive. I don't know. I've kind of just been, like, doing whatever. Other than... Like, if I wasn't going to use everything on Lord of the Deep, then I've kind of just been, like, winging it and not really caring. And just however I feel when I'm looking at what to upgrade. So, yeah. Um, that's going to do it for Episode 8. So, as you know, this is still really far away, and I don't know if they changed where v normal Vihilla is on this, like, list after they nerfed her HP, because her HP got nerfed quite a bit, down to, like, what, 88T, I think? she has now it used to be like 130 or maybe I'm wrong about the numbers but it was a significant nerf to her HP but I don't know if this actually moved if they updated the maple guide so if they did then I'm wrong but I don't I don't think people are just out here solo in H lucid before they're solo in normal Vihela or at least like what their character is capable of unless they're just their equips are just fire but then their arcane force isn't so it does have a higher arcane force requirement maybe that's part of why they have it that way on the guide i don't know but either way that seems inaccurate to me um but yeah so slowly working our way towards 270 gotta start saving money um from here on out i'm probably gonna make the episodes shorter you know, I kind of started out with the idea that my episodes would be around two hours because of wealth acquisition potions, but now that people can make mini wealths, and the fact that the content is, we're kind of on this cycle of doing all the exact same things, other than once we very first soloed Hard Lotus and Hard Damien. Um, it's kind of like... Oh, I didn't talk about my Legion. Um, so we already knew about the 210 Evan, 210 Mercedes, 210 Phantom. The Demon Avenger is 210. The Ark is 210 now. We've been done with the Zero. I got the Luminous from 166 to 183 just using 
free extreme growth potions from my dentist. And also got an AB to 183, all just in the span of yesterday. I got it to 103 through training and then Zachum. And then threw all the EXP buffs on it, grabbed a rune, did food storage, and it got to like 145. So it gained like 42 levels in food storage. And then I bonked it to 181 and then finished out my EXP coupons in just at the swollen stumps and Twilight Perion. So have not gotten as far on the Hayato as I should be at this point, but um, we have until like February to finish the Terra Burn, so it's gonna make it. It's just I need to stop slacking. Um, I still have one food storage and one coconut smash left for the week. Everything else is done, like the uh, EXP ticket. Whatever it's called, Tropical Adventure, I think. Um, so I'm probably going to do the AB first. Get that to 200 and start doing Vanishing Journey dailies on it. And then I'll do Luminous next. Because we still have quite a bit of food storage left throughout the event. And then maybe the Iran. Hold on, let me look at my little list here. Oh, and I still have to finish Demon Slayer. It's only 120. Okay. So once the Luminous and the AB are 200, I'll start splitting the food storages between Iran and Demon Slayer. That's probably what I'll do until they're at least 141, which should only be one each. Yeah, that's probably the play. And then I still have to get the Hayato to 200 as well. So slowly but surely. Um, I I knew from the start that I wasn't going to like super rush Legion. I just want to steadily work on my Legion, Link skills. Once all the 210 links are done, like your path forward is so straightforward because they're pretty much the best link skills anyway. And then um, other than like Mage Link, Thief Link, Kana, Xenon, uh, and Resistance, Resistance Link, you're really just getting characters to 200 to get that up to first 6k and then 8k. So over halfway done with the level level 3 link skills, which feels great. Shocked that we're that far this early cuz they're all characters that I pretty much don't like. Some of them I I don't mind as much, but they're definitely not my favorite classes to play. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to do it for episode 8. Um, I appreciate y'all tuning in throughout 2023 and our journey throughout Hyperion so far. It's Like I said, it's been a blast. Level 267 on the main, soloing H. Lomian pretty comfortably now. And working on our sixth job just until we can climb all our way up to Hard Lucid and Normal Vihila. Because they're next on the list. Alright y'all. Happy New Year.